Hello, this is Jared Nickerson from J3 Concepts down here in San Diego, California. And today I'm going to show you how I created this artwork with a single tool in CorelDRAW, or specifically the new Artistic Media Expressions tool. Now what makes this tool so great is it detects the pressure, of course, but also the tilt and bearing of your stylus. Now what this does is this allows you to get some great detail with single strokes, but also helps mimic your personal hand style a little bit more accurately. Now, also worth mentioning throughout this video is I'm using a workspace uh, based on the custom Adobe Illustrator preset in CorelDRAW, uh, a more minimal version of it that I've geared specifically to the tools I'll use for this video. Now, for the Expressions tool, I would use this for sketching out initial ideas, adding a layer of highlights and shading to a detailed piece. But in this case, I want to primarily use the Expressions tool from start to finish a single project. And again, I don't want to focus on so much on detailing, but I want to keep it fun and experimental. Now also worth mentioning is at any point in time I would go in with some of these shapes and manipulate the individual nodes to get the exact shape and flow I want. What's nice with Corel Draw now is that you can change the color, shape, and size of nodes to make them easier to edit no matter how simple or complex the piece is. You can do this by going to the Workspace, Nodes and Handles settings menu. Now, for this piece, I won't focus on that too much as I'm breaking apart all the artistic media to edit the gradients, etc. But it's a great new feature from Corel Draw worth bringing some focus to. You can also use this tool as a regular artistic tool as well. For example, I'm using it to create some blobulous cloud shapes here to add some depth, but to also contrast the movement of the piece just to add some additional simple points of interest. When using this type of tool, things can get a bit messy, especially when you want to go in and edit certain parts. Now, one of the advantages, of course, with Vector is the ability to group or layer like parts together to make them easier to move or edit at a later time. I prefer to work in groups, but most people I've found prefer layers, so it really depends on your workflow. What's important is that you have a way to group edit and move like objects easily at any point throughout the process. What is great about the Expressions tool is that the final outcome is still fully editable and has full vector properties. So all of these strokes you can keep as is, or you can break apart the artistic media. This really depends on what you want to do with the artwork. I found for editing and adding gradients, it was a bit more fluid to do that once the object was broken apart, or for Adobe Illustrator users, this is called Expanded. Of course, if I wanted to go back and edit each note to tweak the flow of the piece, I would keep the object in its original form to make this a little bit easier. To keep things clean and easier to envision, I've also power clipped the full artwork within a 1920 by 1080 rectangle, which is the same size as my canvas. From here, I'll add a bit more detailing to help break up the flow, but also to add a slightly organic feel to the lines. Again, nothing major, just want to keep this very simple. So to recap, the new Expressions tool sets itself apart from other artistic tools by the simple fact it detects the tilt of your stylus. This can be used in many applications, but really it helps mimic your personal hand style more accurately. Also, I was able to utilize the Adobe Illustrator Workspace preset, so things felt a bit more familiar to Illustrator users. And now I have the ability to change the color, shape, and size of nodes to make objects easier to edit and manipulate. I hope you enjoyed the video and it helped bring some light to a handful of new features in the latest Corel Suite. And remember, you can download the free trial version of Corel Draw at CorelDraw.com. I'm Jared Nickerson. Thanks for watching.